All right, guys, talking about S90V this time. These are three of them. These two came from Josh. These are the last of the knives I have from Josh. I really appreciate him sending everything along so that I can test it. And this particular one is one of my own S90V. It is kind of like a beater knife. And we'll talk a little bit more about all these in a minute. We have the 940-1 S90V. The carbon fiber frame lock military S90V. And a cutlery shop Mannix S90V. So I'm not sure how quick the cutting's going to be. I am really thinking about just leaving it out or adding it in at the very end of the video from now on. But for this one, it will be in the middle like usual. My editing program had an update. I don't like how it lets me speed up clips now, so I can't quite make them as fast. That being said, it ate my cutting footage for this particular Mannix, so you're not going to see it. And it would only let me slow these down so much. So I believe it's going to be about four and a half to five minutes worth of cutting if you want to skip past that and get to the rest of the video. So, one Benchmade, one Spyderco, uh, one Spyderco, two Spydercos, and this is going to be like a part one, so to speak, because I have so many of my own S90V knives as well to test. My Shirogorov, a Manly, a bunch of other Spyderco stuff. This is probably going to end up being like three parts worth of testing just because of how much time it would take to cover them all in one video. So we'll go ahead and get through that cutting real quick and come back and talk about these.
All right, now that we got through that cutting, go ahead and start with the 940-1. Anybody who's been around the channel for a while knows I'm not a big 940 fan. Not sure what it is about it, I just do not like them. So Josh had sharpened this one once, he got it used, it had a pretty good chip in it, and he said he had to remove a fair amount of steel to get that chip out. So I did sharpen it two more times, and I went ahead and tested it on what would, that I knew of to be the third sharpening. And on that sharpening, I got 121 feet fine edge zero feet working edge for a total of 121 feet. I asked Josh just to double check and make sure about how many times it had been sharpened. I was pretty disappointed in it. I went ahead and sharpened it, dulled it right away, sharpened it again, did some cutting with it. It still didn't feel great. So, I sharpened it again, which would have been that I knew of six edges, dulled it, sharpened it one more time, and went to testing. So that I'm aware of, the seventh edge is where this one picked up. And on that test, I got 134 feet fine edge, 259 feet working edge, for a total of 393 feet. Edge 8, same way. Sharpen the same way, strop the same way. All these are at the same angle, same finish. Tested it again. 130 feet fine edge, 261 feet working edge for a total of 391 feet. I have no idea what the hardness on this is. I don't know when Kurt is going to get back to testing. But I don't expect this to be terribly hard. It does not feel like it's very hard in sharpening. It burrs up very quickly. So if I had to guess, this is probably somewhere in the 59 range. And then we move on to Josh's military. I know that he had sharpened this one time. I went ahead and put two more edges on it and went to testing it. On the third edge, I got 129 feet fine edge, 101 feet working edge for a total of 230 feet. Once again, way less than I know what S90V is capable of. So, sharpened it again, made sure to take a little bit of extra steel off felt pretty good that time came up really good so I tested it again 162 feet fine edge 325 feet working edge for a total of 487 feet any of you that know know that I absolutely love S90V this is exactly why it's the kind of performance that I usually experience with my Spider Coast stuff. I'm not going to spoil the Shiro or the Manly. We'll get to them in the next video. But this one did really well. So I sharpened it again, same way, to verify it. And on the verification test, I got 160 feet fine edge. 328 feet working edge 
for a total of 488 feet. Now, if I had to guess the hardness on this, because it also has not been tested yet, I'm going to guess this is somewhere in the mid-61 range for a hardness. Which brings me to this one. I did get this one from BJ. It had already been tested before I got it. BJ had tested it, but I'm not sure if he ever did a video on it or not. I know we did talk about how it did. So, same edge. Yes, this one, bevel on this one's a little wide. It's getting pretty thick. It's been used quite a lot. When you compare it to another Manix, the blade is not as tall anymore, and it is a little bit shorter. So went ahead and tested this one. And on the first test, I got 165 feet fine edge, 339 feet working edge for a total of 504 feet. I've used this one at work quite a lot after I tested it. This test, is, this particular test on this one has been done for a long time now. Enjoy using this one at work. So I sharpened it again to verify it. On the verification test, I got 170 feet fine edge, 341 feet working edge for a total of 511 feet. I know that this one is 61.8, if it'll focus again, you can see where it's been tested twice, it was 61.8 both times, that's what leads me to believe that the military is pretty close to it. <clears throat> Percentage wise, we're not talking about it being very far behind. Even the actual amount of cutting done, it is just behind that manic. So that's why I said I would guess this one's in the 61 and a half or so, maybe a little bit harder range. S90V, for those of you that know and use it quite a bit. At the hardness Spyderco runs it at, I feel like, not I feel like, just from my use, I can go longer on an S90V edge than an S110V edge. They are pretty close. I don't think S110V will hold a fine edge quite as long as S90V. But on top of that, I don't find S110V hard to sharpen. I find S90V extremely easy to sharpen. Even properly hardened S90V like these two. It, it, it comes up super easy. It takes a really nice finish even off of just a 600 and 1500 grit diamond stone. Very nice finish. None of these were hard to debur. All of them deburred pretty easy. Even some of these softer S90V I have was not very hard. Not any harder than any other steel that's done decently to deburr. In the next couple videos, we will talk some more about S90V. This is how the first few did. There are going to be at least five more, maybe six. I have some old footage of Tucson S90V that I may make a video out of, but I'll see about that. So that's all I have for these. Any comments, 
suggestions, anything like that, drop them down below. Josh's Instagram will be in the link below. Give him a follow. I'm sure he would appreciate it. Thank you again, Josh. That's all I have for this part one of S90V. As always, I appreciate your time, and thanks for watching.